Hi. This is an episode of Jacob Lindhoff's Tours America. My name is Bill, and I am back answering questions for Jacob Lindhoff's YouTube channel. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. Number one question is, how has my summer been and what have I done this summer? I um, have had a great summer so far. I live uh, near Boston, Massachusetts on an island um, and uh, the name of it is Winthrop. And um, being an island, of course, it is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean for the most part. And um, I uh, am able to, and I'm fortunate enough to be able to go to the beach every single day uh, that I'm not working. I have, um, I work irregular uh, hours on my job. And so anytime that, uh, that I'm off, I can, uh, I can go to the beach here. And uh, I really enjoy that. Also, I am um, originally from North Carolina. And so uh, I do try to get down there, and uh, I've been down there twice this summer, and I visit uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina there, which is um, most famous for uh, being where the Wright brothers uh, invented the airplane. It's beautiful there, and so I do love the water, and I um, and, uh, love to be outdoors and the solid air and work on my tan. So, uh, so yeah, so far the summer has been great. No complaints. Question number two is, um, um, is there one thing about me that I would change, uh, if I could and, and why? And actually, yes, there is, um, the one thing that I would change about myself is uh, I'm not very good at all in relationships, and um, I, I I wish I were better in relationships. I, I'm I'm a Taurus. I was born April the thirtieth, and so I, um, I I'm a really great friend. Um, I'm a really good friend to people. I'm lucky to and very fortunate to have a lot of friends. Um, but, uh, and I, and I love people and I will do anything for almost anybody. So I'm good, uh, as, as far as friendships go, but I am not a good boyfriend at all. And I just am not very good in, uh, in relationships at all. I think one reason for that is because I, uh, I just don't want to boss. I don't want to be accountable to someone so much. Uh, and um, that's kind of the problem, my problem, with being in relationships. And I try to work on that <clears throat> and try to be a better boyfriend and a better partner. <clears throat> okay, moving on to question number three. Uh, what am I best at and why? I am, uh, uh, I consider myself uh, really good at sports and um, I love sports. Uh, I love basketball. That's my favorite sport. I am from North Carolina and uh, basketball is king there. And so, uh, and I'm quite good at basketball. Of course, I'm not as good as I was back when I was in college or in high school, but uh, I I love playing basketball and I am quite um, I am quite good at it. I think uh, not as good as I used to be. I also love football. I love baseball, um, and uh, I really 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 love to swim. And I am a very good swimmer actually, and I love the water and boating and that kind of thing so okay number four is what was the most disastrous day at work what happened did i get mad at my boss um 
I, I'm fortunate that in my present job, uh, I really enjoy my job and and things just really kind of um, don't really get to me. I, um, you know, uh, I, I really enjoy what I do. And, but I can remember back about um, like 15 years ago, I worked uh, a part-time job moonlighting for extra money for a hotel. And um, I was working as a front desk clerk at the time. I was working a Saturday and uh, this hotel was always really busy and uh, there were a lot of people checking in um, and I was working I think a seven to four o'clock in the afternoon shift something like that well um, check-in time for the hotel was not until three o'clock and we had a lot of people trying to check in before three and uh, and of course the hotel Friday night was completely sold out um, so, uh, you know, we have to have time for people to check out at 11 or 12 noon and then clean the rooms. And so the rooms just were not ready. Well, uh, the, the, the customers and the people there just could not, um, they just could not accept that at all. And they were really quite mean and nasty to the staff, including me. And so, uh, I, um, I, it just really made me so mad and I was so aggravated with the situation and I was just just so really glad when it got to be four o'clock that afternoon and I just walked out of there and I was in such a bad mood uh, because uh, of the way these people had treated us and and I really you know the job didn't pay a lot of money at the time and I didn't really even know if I would even go back. I eventually did, but I didn't work there uh, much longer after that. It, it just, it was, it was just too much. Okay. Um, the next question is who would I like to see become president and, and why? Um, I'm not a very political person, so uh, this is um, a little bit hard for me to, an to answer, but um, my choice for president is uh, Dr. Jill Stein, the candidate for the Green Party, and um, the reason why I support Dr. Stein is because she is an extremely intelligent woman. She's very smart. She's a very nice lady. And the main thing that I like about her um, is that she, I believe that she brings a very uh, common sense approach to uh, politics and to, and I believe she will bring uh, that same common sense um, uh, to um, governing our great nation, and I think that's something that we we, we really need uh, at this time. And so I do support, plan to vote for Dr. Stein, uh, and I hope other people will as well. So, okay, and this is the end of part two of this interview with me. My name is Bill. I am on Jacob Lindhoff Tours America, and thank you, Jacob, for these great questions. Uh, these questions I've enjoyed answering, and um, they have really made me think, and uh, thank you for all the good questions. Thank you for watching Jacob Lindhoff's YouTube channel, and uh, so long. Goodbye.